context let us look at uh, the multiple factor theory by edward thorndike now thorndike is considered as the father of modern educational psychology and this multiple factor theory is also known as anarchic theory and just let me caution you that the multiple factor theory should not be confused with the multiple intelligences theory by gardner that's a different theory that we will study later in the multiple factor theory thorndike says that there are three types of intelligence there is abstract concrete and social intelligence and concrete intelligence can also be called technical or mechanical intelligence and if you want to measure a person's intelligence in any of these different types you have to look at what is the level of difficulty of uh, any task that this person can solve and you should look at the range that is the number of tasks at each level of difficulty that this person can solve in that field and the area that is the total number of situations that this person is able to respond to and the speed at which he is able to solve that problem or respond to that situation so you should look at all these factors to measure a person's intelligence in a particular area let us look at how edward thorndike's multiple factor theory and the way that he is suggesting intelligence can be measured can probably be used in real life suppose if i have a workshop a garage and i look at all the mechanics who are working for me and i have to identify which of them are the best mechanics so how do i do that well if i were to use edward thorndike's uh, theory then i know that all the tasks in my garage require mechanical intelligence and i have to have some preset standards on the various levels of the work that need to be done for example painting might be very easy so i put it as level 1 metal work is more difficult so i say level 2 electrical and electronics is level 3 and engine work gearbox work or fuel system work might be at level 4 so i have different levels of difficulty of different types of tasks and this particular mechanic that i want to measure he can do painting so he can do one task at level 1 he can do metal work that is one task at level 2 he can do electrical that is one task at level 3 but he cannot do electronics and at level 4 he can do engine work and he can do gearbox work but he cannot do fuel system work so i take this into consideration then i see what is the number of tasks that he can handle or what is the number of problems that he can solve in a typical day for example in engine and gearbox related the tasks that is at level 4 he looks at 10 different problems in a day and he is able to solve it electrical work he is able to solve seven types of problems and uh, metal work 3 and uh, painting 1 so i take this also into consideration and i look at what is the average time that he is taking to solve each of these different types of problems at different levels so i take this also into consideration then i apply a formula suggested by edward thorndike to calculate this person's mechanical intelligence so in that way if i do it for all the people working in my garage i should be able to rank them in order of who are the best mechanics in my garage 